Hello, so the subject of oil extractors and changing oils with um, oil extractors is a bit of a controversial subject. So I'm going to do a bit of a test on my Land Rover TD5. I'm going to extract as much oil as I can from uh, the dipstick and then get underneath the car, pull the plug and see what comes out and see if these extractors really do do what they say. Now I've used them for years and I'm quite happy with it. But looking at the forums, not only on Land Rovers, but all car forums, um, there's a bit of a mixed debate on whether they work or not. So let's put it to the test. And every car that I do my little service on, I'll do the same um, on each one. So I'll do it on the Mini and the MG uh, and on the Discovery as well when we get to it. So let's get the engine warmed up and we'll start to extract some oil. So I've gone for a good run and the engine's nice and warm. So what we'll do is get the dipstick out. Get the pipe in, start pumping, and see what we get. So there you go, the siphoning starting. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just leave that run away and once that's finished and air starts to be sucked up we'll get underneath the car, uh, take out the plug and see what happens. So this has a capacity of 6 litres so it's just about to come up to the top uh, and I think the engine is actually 7.2 so I'm going to pull it out, uh, empty this and then start it off again. So the oil is now finished draining and it looks like it has brought out about just over 7 litres which is pretty much bang on what the Haynes says it should do. Um, so what I'll do now is I've got a little baking tray um, instead of using my normal drainer so you can see it better. Please don't tell the wife that I've stolen a baking tray and I'm going to climb under the car and um, see how much comes out um, straight from the sump. Okay, so I've slackened it off uh, and nothing's come out yet. And it's not the easiest thing to do to do this and hold the camera at the same time. So there we go. So I'll let that run and we'll have a look once it's finished. So I left it run for um, as long as it needed. Um, so there's nothing dripping when I closed it, and this is what came out. So it's difficult, I'm sure it's difficult to see on the, the video, but I'd say 100 millilitres. Um, just run it around so you can have a look. So you can decide for yourself. For me, that's acceptable. Um, as long as I don't have to go underneath dirty cars and pour out scorching hot oil into my arms each time I'm more than happy to use the, the drainer. So what I'll do is when the Mini um, comes ready for a service I'll do the exactly same thing and put another video on. Um, but yeah I think the, the oil extractors are a brilliant bit of kit and well worth having and for the, the little bit of oil that's in there I think um, is absolutely fine. If you found this video useful, why not click on like so other people can find it? And if you want to subscribe, I'll be doing lots more videos on VWs and Minis and Land Rovers and MGs and lots of other cars and things. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon.